Hello everyone, my name is Marshawn Brooks. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. The neighborhood I grew up in was the Jeffrey Manor. It is located on the uh, far south side of Chicago. Uh, I'm a teacher. I have a bachelor's degree from Chicago State University in career and technical education. I also have a master's degree from Chicago State in technology and improvement studies. I'll provide you a little description about me and my profession. Um, as a computer science teacher, I educate students on how to uh, do computer work, scratch, Python, coding, different things like that, uh, robotics, uh, you name it. From the basic science and mathematics behind the operation to the actual hardware and the software built on those foundations. I'm currently teaching right now at Kenwood High School and I've been there for about a year. I'd always wanted to be a computer science, uh, computer network or a computer coder uh, from a kid. Um, I would spend count countless hours in my parents' basement looking through coding books, typing out code, and sometimes it would take over 500 pages of code to just make a circle with a color in it bounce across the screen. And I was fascinated by that. After um, all those hours of just putting in these little code words, one after the other, just to see the result that uh, was produced, it, you know, it motivated me. So my mind always thought that way. And I soon discovered that I had a passion for computer programming and building computer networks and also computer security. I enjoy what I do because it's rewarding and it helps others to be productive. And what I mean by that is when we protect computer systems through um, cybersecurity, that allows people to do their work without being hacked. When we build lands and lands, those are local area networks and wide area networks where computers can talk back and forth to each other. It allows, allows multiple computers to talk back and forth at one time. And that, you know, that speeds up the operation uh, in the process. So th those things like that are, are rewarding. Some of the uh, major skills and traits that are needed for my position, you must be a, a good active listener. Got to have good listening skills. You must be empathy, you must show empathy for others. Um, you have to have patience with people. You must be analytical, a good problem solver, a critical thinker, and you must be resilient. I mean, excuse me, show resilience. Um, I kind of look back on it and I think what, what classes have I found that was most useful and what education was most important to me. I feel all education is important because I think education is built on platforms that each platform that you build allows you to grow. And what I mean by that is once you keep building a platform and it's solid from based on the education that you learned from before, you can learn more and you can learn more. So I think all education is important because it allows you to become a better, a better person, a better thinker and, and to grow in your craft or whatever your career objective is. The classes that I found that was most useful, I found classes that promote collaborative environments among students and that are student driven and teacher facilitated. Um, classes that teach, uh, that produce a tangible product that's hands on. Uh, kids really light up when they see um, something that they've built, they've built or put together and to see a result, okay? They're really happy with that. So those are the kind of classes that I find that are the most useful. Uh, in high school, my interest, my interests uh, were, uh, I love football. I love baseball, I uh, love basketball. I was really good at football. I was really good at baseball, not too good at, at uh, basketball. And I would just about try anything, you know. I can remember one time when I went out for the wrestling team and my dad had, was driving me to the wrestling practice. <laughs> And he looked over at me and he said, son, you think you really want to do this? Wrestling pretty tough, man. I was on the football team and I said, dad, I, I got this. I got this, man. I got this. Well, needless to say, after practice, my dad picked me up. <laughs> I told my dad, hey, it's the last time I'll be doing that, dad. He was right. So, you know, I was interested in uh, just about anything in high school. I was on a debate team once before. I found that to be very interesting as well. Um, what do you think you were going to do? What did I think I was going to do when I grew up? Um, I thought actually, I knew that I was going to the military. I, I knew that. Um, 
that was no doubt. My whole family is military. Uh, I always wanted to be in the military, so I knew that I was going to the military straight after high school. Um, but I wanted to be the police. I thought that I was going to be a police officer. I really did. And um, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. And I became a teacher. I never thought uh, in a million years that I would be a teacher. But um, it worked out well. I'm a really good teacher. Um, I'm passionate with my students. I love what I do. Uh, every day that I go to work, it's, it's fine with me. Um, so, yeah, teacher. Um, teachers, how are these two jobs similar to what I thought I would be doing and the decision that led me to here? Um, teacher and teachers and police officers, they're, they're both public service. They kind of like, you know, prepare people or keep people under control or, you know, make decisions, you know, based on a lot of people. So they're both public servants. They are similar in their own, and they're similar and different, but uh, yeah, teacher. So knowing what you know now, if I could return to high school, what would I do differently? Well, what would I do differently? I would be a better listener because being a listener allows you to grow. It allows you to sit back and think about what that person or what those people are saying. Take in the part that you need and get rid of the rest. And you learn from people, okay? You take your idea that you have and you listen to other people's ideas. They may have similar thoughts and, and then you make your idea better. So you learn from people. So being an active listener is always uh, paramount. Um, in, in college, what I would have did differently was I would never take six classes in one semester ever again. So I would advise you not to do that. All right. So. I, as growing up, I did have a mentor and a role model, and that was my dad. My father uh, was the hardest working man I had ever seen. My father installed discipline in me at an early age and um, a good work ethic. Uh, my dad would up, be up at 5 o'clock in the morning to uh, get the equipment and go uh, to his yard where he stored all this equipment and get everything together and have his guys ready and get his trucks rolling. And he would would do this Monday through Saturday and Sunday he would go out and just check jobs to, to, you know, generate more income. So my dad was the hardest man, working man I ever known. And he instilled discipline in me, you know, to know what was right and what's wrong and, and not to do those different things and, you know, be a man of your word. You know, uh, you tell somebody you're going to do something, do it and do it and do it right. You know, be a thinker. Think for yourself. Don't uh, uh, don't let other people, you know, just lead you down the wrong trail. So with that being said, I believe those skills did help me along the way, along my journey. And it's still helping me to this day right now. Um, some of the positive impacts that I've had on others in my role. Um, I'm 2019 Exemplary Career and Technical Education uh, Teacher of the Midwest Region. I've created mentoring groups. Um, I've helped kids every year. I've always bought a kid something uh, for graduation that did underprivileged kid that didn't have shirt, tie, dress, shoes, socks. I've always bought a kid something every year, you know, until this recent CPS policy changes. Uh, so those are always uh, good things that impact, you know, students. Uh, where do I see myself in three to five years? Um, I see myself as uh, one or two things, either being a principal of an elementary school or being a cybersecurity uh, professional, having my uh, own consultant business, uh, providing consultation services to uh, people, uh, and how to protect their infrastructure and their networking system, um, different things like that. If I could provide a statement of advice or encouragement, it would be to just be genuine. Stay true to yourself. Have multiple skill sets. Don't just learn one thing. Learn multiple things so that you can have you can, you can have more than one way to uh, generate income uh, or wealth in your life. And just be a good person. Be a good listener. Um, never be afraid to learn because you can learn something every day. Don't close your mind off to the rest of the world 
as though you know everything uh, because you don't. Always be a good listener and, and willing to um, you know, take in more resources. And with that being said, I wish all of you the best in your um, STEM careers.